Hi, this is Danny. The channel is you and me living free. And today I want to do a follow up video about the gutted event that took place a few weeks ago in Smithville, Missouri. Uh, for anybody who doesn't know, gutted is an event where they take three teams of builders. One works on an RV, one, one team works on a schoolie and one team works on a van and they do, they completely renovate them and they have all these parameters and they, then they build and then they have a contest and see who wins and everything, which I still can't talk about yet. I don't know if the winner's been announced, but we were there when we, when we were there at the event, they were like, you can't, you know, announce who won or anything, even though we found out the last day. So anyway, I don't know if that's still a secret or if everybody knows, but Anyway, uh, you'll have to look at guttedevent.com if you want all that information. So they have these events, they make it into like a reality show and they post it on, I don't know if they do it on YouTube or if they have a channel, whatever. And so I've never been that into, into that whole thing of it before. I went to Gutted because I wanted to be in the community. I wanted to meet people. I knew a couple of YouTubers who were going to be there, which is Carol from Glorious Life on Wheels and Bunny from Bunny Plays Here. I knew they were going to be there and I had met them both in Quartzsite and I loved seeing them again. I went for the kind of sense of community and I went because I haven't been doing big road trips out for a while and this was actually in Smithville, Missouri. It's only 45 minutes from my house. I'm creating a playlist called Gutted even though there's only going to be like three videos there. Um, but So if you want to see the other two, they'll be on this playlist. Uh, at the end of the video, I'll put up my last video about Gutted, and then I'll put up um, the playlist from Gutted so that you can w choose one of those options if you want. So anyway, I'm just talking to myself how I'm gonna pose the video, how I'm gonna do the video and organize it and everything. So we'll do that for anybody who needs the information. Also, you might notice I, I've actually kind of done my hair today. I have a little lip gloss on. Uh, just sneak, sneak peek um, here, I have a new job. Oh, what? I'm going to do a life update video later and I will tell you all about it. But I do have a job. Did it do? Going to be able to pay rent now. So that's a good thing, everybody. If you've been watching me for a while, you know I've been looking. So that's a good thing. So thank you. So let's talk about gutted. Let's do this in about five minutes. So I'm going to give you the highlights. Number one, I don't think that $259 was the price if you're going to go to the whole thing or $59 a day was the website price for, for just each day, like if you're only gonna go to three days or whatever. Now, let me tell you, let me tell you, I don't know if it will be this year, way next year, but coming in this year, there was no one at, fr at the front to take any money except for day one. And when I got there, they charged me $10, partly because I'm, I'm a resident. They, they charged me $10. I have a friend who went who I found out paid $59 online so she paid $59 for the day I paid 10 that was only the first day after the first day they didn't there was nobody up front to charge or take money or anything so there was no charge after that so I paid $10 and I went three or four days I went three different days and paid $10 so unorganized okay um, from from that standpoint, no one there to take money, no one there to you know to give the maybe they would have had a they should have had a you know a, what's this called <laughs> bracelet? Is anyone is anyone with me? Like you're trying to think of a basic word and it will not come to your mind. Like a basic word. I'm not trying to think of a fancy word or a word you never use bracelet you know they could have a bracelet or a band or whatever but they didn't there was no identifiers there was no way of knowing who paid and who didn't so unorganized now I'm, I'm sure it's bare bones they're doing this is only the second year and they're building up but I'm telling you for behind the scenes for next year if you know that it's just a valuable piece of information I thought it was interesting here's the deal I think the show has really great marketing you do like hashtag gutted or hashtag gutted event. And there are a lot of people who come up. A lot of the big names in the renovation business and in the van build business and stuff 
are there. They do a really good job attracting those people. I'm, I'm sure they probably pay those people or whatever to be there. Uh, they do a decent job with sponsorships. They had some sponsors there with some, with some banners and logos. They were providing, they were providing a lot of stuff for the teams, not for the other people, not for the other attendees. So there were some panel discussions that were, that were okay, that I was there. I was actually one there with, um, there for one with Carol and with Bunny, um, Glorious Life on Wheels and Bunny Plays here. And, and that was great. And they were talking about being a YouTube creator and, and they were wonderful, but the panels were kind of few and far between. And I was trying to plan when I was going to go to the to the um, event and so I was looking for a schedule online there was no schedule online and there were no panel to, like they weren't named out they weren't nothing and a friend of mine who volunteered there said they sat down and put together the schedule like the first night that everybody was there <laughs> so again unorganized but they still never updated the website and put when what days they would have which talks because I wanted to go for some of the talks but it just wasn't it wasn't relevant enough and it wasn't important enough here's the other thing on a lot of the marketing material and everything for the for the um, event they say if you want to work on your van you know bring your project work on your own van while you're here well then they said that, but then they did nothing to support that activity that I could see. So there was one of the volunteers, again, put up this whiteboard that said, this is what I'm working on. This is what I need or not what I'm working on. This is what I need. And then there was another side of the board that said, this is what I'm offering. They kind of, the volunteer, I think kind of did that on her own or maybe with another couple of people just sat down and kind of wrote it out, but it wasn't organized in any way. There was no discussion around it. There was no, um, so this could have, this was, I feel like a big missed opportunity was to actually have other people there working on their own vehicles and stuff. And it was, it could have potentially be a great space for building community, but they kind of missed that boat. The marketing is, is focused on the gutted event. It's fo focused on the renovations and it's focused on the show. And I get that. And they get a lot of marketing hype and buzz. Every single person I talked to who was actually at the event thought that they thought there were going to be huge people there, huge numbers of people. The reason they thought there were going to be huge numbers of people is because the marketing for this event is so good. You have a lot of the people who are big in the industry and they're on YouTube and they're on Instagram and they're doing all the hashtags and they're building this hype. But then once you actually get to the event, there's very few attendees. And that was really interesting. Now, so am I bashing gutted? Would I do it again? Here's the thing. I would totally do it again. And I'm not bashing them. I'm just saying I think they have the potential to have something great here. And just at year two, they just haven't really quite found the way. I think they might have found the way to support the teams themselves, but they haven't found a way to make it great a great fit, great money spent, great time for the audience. Um, also, while the renovations and everything are going on, as you can understand, they're in these tents. They, they can't have people milling around while they have power tools and everything. So you're completely at a distance. You can't really see what they're doing inside and they don't want you to see inside because they're keeping it private. They want a big reveal at the end when they, when they do everything, right? So I totally get it. They've done a great job for the people on the teams. Not such a great job for the attendees, but there's plenty of potential here. I think they have a potential to build a great community, a strong community around this. But there was no sense of community unless you made it yourself, uh, which is what we did. <laughs> So here's part of my community right here. Sorry for the poor quality. So there's me on the left and next is Clara. I met Clara at the Travel Grandma Retreat over the summer and her friend Dandy, which is now my new friend. And then on the right is my friend Karen. She's been a subscriber forever and she's on my Patreon. Here's me and Karen. Karen's pointing up to this row of medals because sometimes I'll say, if you made it to the end of the video, you deserve a medal. So we thought it was so cute. We were standing out there and then we saw the medals in the window. 
Here's me and Karen again, and on the right, you can see just a little piece of her tiny house. Here in probably within the next week, I'm going to do a tour of her tiny house and share it here on the channel, so stay tuned for that. So um, there's my review. Is there anything else I had? I actually have notes, if you can imagine. I know this is completely unorganized, but I actually had notes. Um, bum, 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 bum. I really think that's it. I think I covered everything. Well, what do you know? What do you know? Um, okay, that was fun. Enough about gutted. I want to say thank you for being here. Let me know in the comments if you stayed till the end because you deserve a medal. And I want to send extra love to you and send extra two tons of love to my patrons. I couldn't do it without you. I love you. And um, that's it. Thanks so much. Hey, the patron link is in the um, is in the description. As little as three dollars a month, you get real time updates and all kinds of stuff uh, that we do over there. So um, so join in if you feel like it. Anyway, thanks for being here. I'll catch you next time. Bye.